How was I starting this? Watch your internet. This is going very well because I have a migraine today, um, which has gotten a lot better than it was last night. It was bloody awful, but I'm still feeling quite fragile. But I didn't vlog yesterday and I wanted to, so we're going to vlog today regardless. Um, Mm. The help of sweet, sweet tea. Yeah, vlog two. You could just riff and then like cut the footage down later since you've learned to edit now. Yeah, I don't know what to sort of say now. You're learning to edit. You're learning and growing. It's true. Christmas, you want to talk about Christmas? Oh yeah. See, aren't you glad you've got me? Yes, yes, I'm very glad. Um, but yeah, Christmas. It's the 4th of December? 4th of December. So we're well into Advent. Um, and on the one hand, I'm not, I'm not actually a Christian, um, but on the other hand, a large portion of my family are, and I have always lived in countries that have made a pretense towards being secular, but largely Christian. Um, so, you know, I, it's not as if I could escape Christmas, even if I wanted to, which I don't, because it's kind of brilliant, which... Uh, you know, lots of other religions, things are kind of brilliant as well, but I just, I just really like Christmas. And it comes at a great point because I, I have depression and so when it gets darker and colder, I tend to get more and more sad. And then it's a bit where it's like, hey, you know how you were sad? What about if we put twinkly lights on everything? You know how you were feeling down? What about if I gave you a pile of little flat robins and said, spread them out your house um, and then what if we had lots of bits where we went to craft fairs and you know like you had to think about people you love and buy them nice things and you've got to eat a load of special food and carols I love carols oh I love carols so much yeah I, I think in a way like, I've always been a big fan of mythology and religion. Um, and I've always sort of really loved, like, going into stories about people's cultures and stuff. So Christmas is kind of, uh, it's not something that I'm not touched by. I am touched by it, but it's not something that I'm, you know, not about. I know that the Jesus was born, but it's not of this deep, deep meaning to me, not deep religious meaning. So it's a bit like being an anthropologist who gets to go to a culture and everyone's like it's fine come into this culture you don't even have to pretend that you're not in it we, we can completely just put you in here in this culture with us and accept you in it it's, yeah so in a way i feel a bit like if i was you know sort of invited to go back to ancient egypt and get into you know like oh come and join us in our festival of hathor we all get drunk so yeah, I always feel that Christmas is a bit where I get to go and see these religious things happening, or those mythologi mythological things happening, and I get to be involved with them even though it's not my religion, so it's kind of great. I just, yeah, it's just it's a time when, when everyone gets as involved in, in mythology as I usually am. It's like, yeah, we're going to tell stories about how things happened, and we're going to like have all this iconography. And we're going to sing songs about it. It's just, I just love it a lot. Yeah. A lot. But so I've started decorating my house, which has been a little bit difficult this year on account of certain cats. Yeah, you little loaf. Uh, she's looking like, you know, like butter wouldn't melt in her mouth right now, despite the fact that given the chance she would melt butter in her mouth. Um, 
and also anything you've left on the table and anything you've left on the side and anything she can crawl into and lick up. But yes, all of the tinsel is currently remaining in the box of Christmas because if we get it out, Pippin will attempt to eat it and then we'll have to be in the vets for all of Christmas removing tinsel from her tiny gut. At 650 pounds per incision. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So I've put up a little bit of twinkly lights in the window, too high for her to reach. Put some baubles up, too high for her to reach. They seem to be staying. You know, we had one so one fell down, but now they're fine. Um, I've put my little advent stockings up. I have a little string where little stockings with the numbers of the day is on. They're going up. It's very cute. Um, I think I might put some stuff outside. Like I might wrap some tinsel around the outside of our house. We've got some poles. <laughs> Just because, you know, it's tinsel is important. It's very important. When you said that, it made it sound like you were just going to get some, or like, either some ordinary domestic sized tinsel and just string loads of it together, or you were going to get a whacking great, you know, garden sized thing of tinsel and just wrap the house up like a present. I mean, like a sparkly present. That would be great. There is, there is a house near us that's obviously having some work done, um, and it's got like. I'm assuming the roof leaks because it's got this sort of like green plastic spread over the roof and I was going past it the other day and I was like oh man for Christmas I would definitely attach a large bow to the top of that to make it look like you wrapped the house as a present for Christmas that would be great yeah it, it <laughs> Christmas is a time when people are like would you like to decorate your house with silly craft bullshit and it's like yes <laughs> every day if given the chance so, yeah, I think as well, my, oh, I don't know, like, we've got a huge big bit of grass out the front, which we don't usually have. Um, I mean, it didn't just appear one day, we've moved house recently, and that's why we now have this thing that we don't usually have. Um, and I'm almost tempted to, like, find some giant blow-up Santas or something, because it's just this canvas that's empty and could be filled with Christmas trash. Like, fat reindeer or something. Go on, fetch that little baby. Come on, you've not been on the vlog yet. It's been plenty of mine. Oh, see? Come on, my vlog now. Here, here's the reason I can't have tinsel. Say hello, Pippin. Say hello. Say hello to the camera. No. No. Say hello. I'm a terrible fat baby who eats all the tinsel. Alright, okay, bye then. I think that's enough. Bye bye, internet. Bye bye.